In 2005, humanity finally had the question answered, are we alone in the universe, with the arrival of mysterious alien invaders from deep space. The invaders arrived in early fall in spacecraft disguised as large thunderstorms, emitting EMPs while they delivered their crews to their waiting war machines buried beneath human cities. While the invasion occurred all over the world, we know the most about the military actions taken by both sides in the region of New England within the United States. The objectives of the humans in the coming invasion although they didn't know that the invasion was coming yet, would simply be to hold their ground and eventually drive off the invading alien forces. On the opposite side, the aliens hope to wipe out humanity while seizing ground from human forces and collect as much of the human population as they feasibly could. The war began with the arrival of these spacecraft delivering their crews to the buried war machines underneath the feet of the humans. In the Northeast United States, the most notable location where these war machines emerged from the ground was the area around New York City, where several buried cylinders containing the tripod war machines were opened and the war machines emerged, with U.S. military forces being forced out of the city and the area around New York being completely overrun by the alien war machines. As the aliens overran the largest metropolitan area in the United States, the U.S. military began preparing their response, setting up defensive lines outside of New York in the mountains around the areas of northern New Jersey and southern New York. Meanwhile, the population of New York that had managed to escape the initial arrival of the invaders was now fleeing north uh, towards perceived safety in the areas of New England that had not yet been reached by the alien invasion. As the war machine slammed into the first line of American defensive forces located in the mountains outside of New York, the Americans quickly learned that the alien war machines were protected by strong shields that would prevent any human munitions from detonating on their targets. Furthermore, the aliens unleashed devastating heat rays on the waiting human defenders, wiping out the U.S. military forces in the area and shooting shooting down several aircraft, including a large civilian airliner that had been flying in the area. With the destruction of the first line of U.S. military defenses, U.S. military forces fell back, evacuating towards the Hudson River, where an easier defense would be possible, setting up a defensive line along the banks of the river and awaiting the advancing war machines, which were now pushing north through New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and upstate New York. On top of the effort to set up a defensive line along the Hudson River, the U.S. military forces were tasked with aiding and assisting the evacuation of civilians across the Hudson River from the cities on the west side of the river to the east side of the river so they could continue to proceed towards the safety deeper in New England. However, the perceived safety was shattered as the aliens besieged several ports along the Hudson River that were key points for crossing the river. These assaults started in the north, but ultimately ultimately culminated in the Battle of Athens, where the U.S. military put up a relatively weak defense against alien forces advancing from both the west and the north. With human forces overran at Athens and the alien forces having now crossed the Hudson, a series of defensive lines were put up to hold back the advancing aliens and protect retreating civilian populations as they made their way towards Boston. It's around this time that a dense alien ecosystem, characterized by red weed, began spreading throughout New England starting in New York and spreading northward. During this time, several small skirmishes occurred in the hills of New England, where human forces would set up minor defensive lines in an effort to hold off advancing alien war machines. However, all of these engagements ended the same way, with the human forces putting up the best fight they could, but eventually being overrun when the aliens could focus their effort on whichever unit was firing on them the most intensely. With the collapse of the last few rural defensive lines scattered around New England, a majority of the U.S. military forces in the area fell back to build a defensive perimeter around Boston, in hopes that some sort of solution would present itself. And with the arrival of alien forces within the city of Boston, that solution did appear. The alien war machines began acting more and more sporadically and in a less and less controlled manner. This was due to widespread illness among the alien invaders who had not encountered earthly bacteria in the past. Over the course of a few hours, several days after the arrival of the alien forces, the war machines one by one fell dead or became weakened by the spreading virus and at that point they would fall prey to heavy munitions being fired by U.S. military forces. So, as a result, while the outskirts of Boston were torched by the advancing alien invaders, the heart of the city remained untouched by the alien menace. With the last of the alien war machines destroyed by U.S. military forces or taken down by the crew's own sickness, the battle and the war would end in a human victory, albeit one they shared with the natural forces of the Earth. Ultimately, this invasion, which was depicted in the 2005 movie War of the Worlds, is a beautiful adaptation of the invasion seen during the original novel released in 1899.
1098. But notably, one of the most interesting battles in this conflict was the Battle of Athens, where US military forces put up the best defense they could against advancing alien forces from two directions to protect one of the last remaining large river crossings across the Hudson. If you'd like to learn about the Battle of Athens and the way that played out, I'll leave a link in the upper right-hand corner to my battle analysis on that. And if you have any other engagements you'd like to see covered in future episodes of Battle Analysis and add it to the archive, you can let me know down below in the comments. Well, last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.